What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my channel. This is the Marlin Model 54 12 gauge single shot bolt action shotgun. This is a um, unique gun, to say the least. Uh, I'm mainly doing this video because I'd like to see if anybody else out there on the on the YouTube world has one of these, or if anybody knows anything about it. Because I bought this gun when I turned 18, kind of as my first firearm purchase for myself. Um, and the guys at the pawn shop they didn't know all too much about it. They said they uh, found out that there was about 500 of them ever made. And they had, they, they said somebody told them, I don't remember if it was somebody with Marlin or what, but they said that it was made kind of as an experiment uh, to have a kind of a combo where you switched out the barrel or receiver with a 30 out 6. I don't know how that worked. I don't know how, I mean, it's 12 gauge, you can't put a 30 out 6 cartridge on a 12 gauge bolt face but i don't know uh but after buying it I, I, they took a hundred dollar bill for it out the door and after buying it i did some research on my own and all i can find online is this old forum and there's a guy on there that has one of these and he said he called marlin and they said that this was indeed one of only 500 ever made he didn't say anything about the 30 out six theory but he said these were one of only 500 ever made in 1963. It's a single shot, bolt action shotgun. Uh, I'm not sure what all calibers it came in. I, I was under the impression it was only 12 gauge. Um, but, but I found somebody on Facebook, on a group that I'm on on Facebook, uh, that had one of these in 410. Same gun. Uh, didn't have the adjustable choke, but it was in 410. Single shot, bolt action. And I know and I know there's kind of a lot of 410 bolt action single shots out there, but seeing a 12 gauge was just very unique to me because I used to have a Sears and Roebuck 12 gauge bolt action, but it was a six shot. Um, and this uh, with a tube magazine, this is just a single shot. Um, but anyways, we'll get a closer look at this. From butt to muzzle, I put this uh, rubber butt pad on here. It When I bought it, it had an old ugly brown plastic one on there just like this slipped over it and it was dry rotted so i took it off put this one on um i refinished the stock but i spilled some um acetone on it so it kind of took part of it off so i'm going to refinish this eventually but uh it's got a plastic trigger guard um i guess that's not out of the ordinary for 63 you know it's it's not ancient um simple thumb safety right there um, again, it's a single shot. Uh, to load it, you just open the bolt, uh, take your cartridge, put it in, close it. That's all there is to it. Um, to take the bolt out, you uh, take it off safe, open the bolt, pull the trigger, and it just slips right out. Um, most bolt action shotguns I've had function like that, but but simple. I mean, simple as it can be. I mean, that's why I like these guns. But uh, going on up, it's got a really long barrel. Of course, it may just seem long because it's a bolt action, so it has a lot more uh, length to it. And coming up to an adjustable choke, and I don't know if y'all have ever seen these. These were real common back in the day. But uh, it can go anywhere from, I guess, cylinder, but it doesn't have a dot for it. But it says improved cylinder all the way up to full. So you can shoot anything through this, shoot slugs. Uh, I, I plan on deer hunting with, well, I deer hunted with it this morning, just didn't see anything, but slugs, uh, buckshot, birdshot, we just got some federal birdshot that we're shooting through it today, but, uh, simple bead on the front. Now, the sights are pretty cool. It doesn't have a rear sight, but it has this, uh, kind of plane on it that you line that up, that you line that up with the, uh, with the bead on the front, and it gives you a pretty good sighting picture, even with slugs, uh, for shooting deer but it's a great gun i've never had any problems out of it if you can find one of these used at a gun shop i strongly encourage you to buy it because i'm not aware of any more of these in existence but we'll go ahead and shoot a couple more shells again we're just shooting some low brass seven and a half shot and uh guess that's it the recoil is manageable i mean it, it is a it is a bolt action so you're getting all the recoil.
But as you can see, I mean, it's a bolt action, and bolt actions are really reliable, so. But it's a good shooting gun. It's a great shooting gun. Like I said, if anybody has any information on this, or if you have any questions about it, feel free to comment because I'd, I'd really like to find find out some more about this gun because it's one of my favorites uh, but anyway i appreciate you all watching love y'all god bless you